Generation 5 is the largest software project undertaken by Kappa to date. The new workstation provides a platform for full integration of all current and future dynamic data analysis modules. It also facilitates the connection to third-party workflows for massive data found both in permanent downhole gauge and also unconventional resource fields. This short video shows just a few of the facilities to be found under the new Sapphire Pressure Transit Analysis, Topaz Ray Transit Analysis, and Ruby Multipurpose Full Field Numerical Model Modules. It is designed to show some of the new interface and functionality and is by no means a complete representation of what's to come. We hope you enjoy it. First, let's look at Sapphire, the Pressure Transient Analysis Module. All analysis modules will be accessible through the new Kappa Launcher. In this example, we are launching the Sapphire Pressure Transit Analysis Module to arrive at the new interactive diagnostic screen. Here, we very quickly drag and drop the infinite conductivity fracture and dual porosity diagnostic lines onto the data, regressing to obtain a match. In this next example, we are faced with changing wellbore storage and a rectangular reservoir boundary effect. Once again, we can use the new interactive drag-and-drop diagnostic feature to rapidly approximate the model to the data. There is no need to cycle back and forth to a dialog box to change any of the model parameters. Once a reasonable match has been made interactively, the generation of the model allows us to match the pressure and rate history. Locating candidate data for transit analysis, in particular associated with long-term PDG data, has been enhanced by the addition of a new navigator window. When used in association with the zoom functions, it is now straightforward to identify, for example, a single or multiple buildups for analysis. The same interactive diagnostic tools in the log lot plot found in Sapphire also exist in the Topaz Rate Transit Analysis module. Once a satisfactory match is obtained, the model is generated both on the log lot and history plots. Within Topaz, the flexible decline curve analysis component, which is shared with Citrine Field Performance Analysis, allows the user to simultaneously choose from a menu of built in models or using a math pack to create a custom plot. This internal model allows interactive modifications and automatic regression. With improved interaction, deconvolution is available in both Sapphire and Topaz. In this example, in the Sapphire Pressure Transit Analysis module, we see the separate on-the-fly reconvolution plot matching pressure and rate simultaneously with comparison of multiple deconvolutions using multiple buildups. The multipurpose numerical model Ruby is now capable of operating standalone for a full field applications or is fully accessible and can be driven by the other analysis modules in the workstation. Here we see a 3D graphic representation of a complex well trajectory including multiple perforated intervals in multiple layers. Ruby is the core of numerical modeling in the Kappa workstation. New graphic rendering allows the user to slice and dice the reservoir or sector in any direction using any time-lapse physical parameter while maintaining rapid intuitive build functionality and visualization tools. Besides a rapid interactive build of the Kappa grid, it is also possible to import from geomodelers such as Petrel that then allows the model to be used standalone for numerical modeling or for transit and or rate transit analysis. This was a small sample of what's to come. Generation 5 brings all the Kappa analysis modules under the same seamless environment, meaning data and objects need to be loaded or created only once. It also means integration using open server technology with third-party workflows. It means, for example, it will be possible to transfer, by drag and drop, layer rate data from production log analysis in Emerald directly into multi-layer transit analysis in Sapphire. 
Bringing versus depth and versus time into the same environment means a new comprehensive formation test module, Azurite, will be released in 2016. We now look at a graphic representation of two workflows under Generation 5. Permanent downhill gauges provide a rich source of high frequency, high resolution data for reservoir surveillance. CAP server mirrors the gauge data from the historian and smart filters it using wavelength algorithms. From a logical data hierarchy, it is then a simple matter to navigate the pressure data to identify candidates for analysis in SAFIRE or long-term rate data with or without pressure for decline analysis in TOPAS or full field studies using Ruby. Our analysis may be analytical or numerical. With a numerical model at the heart of the workstation, we may build the model interactively or import from geomodelers with single or multiple complex wells through any layers on any trajectory. In unconventional reservoirs, multiple well data is captured in citrine with representative wells used as proxies for well families that are transferred to Topaz for precise rate transit analysis. Advanced numerical analysis including DFN is available using the KURC app. Finally, the interference effect of natural fractures and nearby wells can be modeled using Ruby. With the launch of Generation 5, Kappa will release an education pack on the new website, contact clients to assist with the customized rollout program, and arrange a series of roadshows to make the transition as smooth as possible.